In this video we're going to take a look at the EXIF tool, which is going to be a great tool for us to not only read metadata, but we can actually create new metadata, or we can rewrite some of the existing metadata that we can find in a file. So to begin with, let's go ahead and find where this little application is. It's under Backtrack, Forensics, Forensics and Analysis Tools, and there it is, this EXIF tool we want to work with. And so that's going to go ahead and pull up, and when we start off, we're in the man page that appears here, uh, something similar to the man page, and what we've got is a lot of information for using this command. I'm going to scroll down and pay particular attention to these file types. These are all the types that uh, are basically, have been verified to run correctly with this particular application. So there's quite a few, it's an extensive list of file types that we can work with. And now to actually get out of this, I'm going to go ahead and type in the letter Q, and then I'll go ahead and quit out of that. And so to begin with, I need to now have a file to work with to view some of the metadata. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and mount, uh, I'm going to make a directory first. I'm going to mount a Windows hard drive here that I've got available for us to work with. So I'm going to make the directory root desktop, and I'm just going to call it WinHDD. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the mount. And this particular device is listed as SDB1 under my F disk. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as my device and we're going to mount it to this folder there we go and now let's go ahead and pay attention here to what file it is we want and find this information for so I'm going to go to the WinHDD let's now go ahead and go to documents and settings all users let's go to documents my pictures sample pictures and we're going to use one of these sample pictures we've got here. So let's go ahead and run this EXIF tool. We're going to go ahead and type in EXIF tool. Now I need to type in the file path for this particular file. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the forward slash root desktop win HDD. So that takes me to this hard drive. Now let's go ahead and work with the Windows folders. So we're going to go ahead and documents and settings. We're going to do all users. We're going to use documents. We're going to use my pictures and then we're going to move over to sample pictures and then we're going to go ahead and use one of these photos and let's see what well, we've got one here we're going to use the water lilies so I'm going to go ahead and type in WA and hit tab and this fills in the water lilies for me if I hit enter I'm going to see a lot of information here available for this water lilies picture and you can see that I've got uh, the file name and it goes down through here a lot of this metadata information that's available so we're going to work with this uh, information. So what we're going to do now is actually modify one of these tags that we have in the metadata. So to do that I'm going to go ahead and come down here. I'm going to hit the up arrow and it's going to give us the old command we just typed in and we're going to modify this a little bit. I'm going to move my cursor over to the end of this EXIF tool and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and we're going to go ahead now and type the forward slash and what we need to do is type in the name of the actual tag we want to work with. And I'm going to go ahead and type in copyright and we're going to set this equal to true. So copyright equals true. And if we're going to use spaces or special characters, you're going to want to use the double quotes or quote out the special characters. Uh, since we're using just one word statements here for copyright and equals true, we can just get away without having to use any quotes at all. If I hit enter, two things are going to happen. Number one, it's going to update this copyright. So if I run this command, I'm going to hit the up arrow twice, just the EXIF tool on this. Now if I take a look, you're going to see that copyright is now true. So we set that equal to true. I want you to also notice, look at our photos that we've got here. We've also got an original. This is what's created automatically. This is the original file without any errors. This is the new file that we work with. It replaces the name that we originally had here. Replaces it with the true value in the meta tag information. So it does keep the original for us to work with. After we've checked everything, it would be a good idea uh, to, to erase this if we want to make complete changes to our metadata information. So I'm going to go back here. We can also create ourselves a new tag. So if I hit the up arrow, I'm going to go ahead and hit the up arrow and we're just going to take out this copyright equals true. We're going to make up our own meta tag. And so let's go ahead and just put comment equals, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in quotes, modified by Matt. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now if I hit the up arrow again, 
and let's go ahead and run this exif tool. We should find this somewhere. There it is. The new comment modified by Matt. And so this was basically creating a new meta tag, uh, some meta tag information in this particular file. So this is using this exif tool. It's available on Backtrack 5.